Have you seen a bash script problem like this before? Hear me out now. Let's say if you have a very simple bash script here, assigning this text into this variable, and this variable is being printed out on a screen. And when you try to run this same bash script, you do get a carriage return command not found error here. And most people, what they do is they get rid of the blank line, control S to save it, and after that, try to run it, and it works just fine, as you can see. So the problem here stems out from the fact that this is Visual Studio Code and it's a window-based computer. And what it's doing is that when you hit an enter here, it's introducing carriage return and line feed. That's why when you actually save it and try to run it, you get a carriage return. And as everyone knows, Linux and Unix system only requires line feed and they do not recognize carriage return. So the way to mitigate that, let me clear the screen here. The way to mitigate that, if you need to have a space in between for some reason, is to actually make some minor configuration change on your Visual Studio. What you can do is that if you go to the bottom right hand corner, there's this uh, select end of line sequence here, click on it, a pop-up window will appear at the top. So you say line feed only. So every time when you hit enter here, what they're, what they're doing there in my bash script is that they're only introducing one single character of line feed. Press Ctrl S to save it. And now if you run it, your script will run just fine without the error of carriage return.